Good day, Taurus, and welcome to my channel. I'm Misha, the Psychotic Psychedelic Gypsy, and this is your weekly reading for August 7th to the 13th. If you're new here, welcome. If you're coming back, welcome back. I hope you're all doing well, and I hope this uh, reading resonates with you. Universe Speak, Spirit's Guide. What needs to be known? What lessons need to be learned? Two of Clubs. Ace of Hearts. Eight of Hearts. And the Seven of Spades. Okay, so there is a liar, cheater, thief in among you uh, this week. Uh, they could be doing one of those things or they could be doing all those things, lying, cheating, and thieving. Uh, when you figure out, pay attention, when you figure out who this person is, you need to disarm them. You need to take away their ability, their power, whatever it is, and remove them from your life. And the thing is, is this is probably somebody close to you in some some sort of way. You probably have some kind of uh, emotional attachment to this person because the cards say that you need to be honest with yourself about this person. And uh, you may have never been honest with yourself with this person. Uh, they may have always been a liar, cheater, thief, you know, and you're just not honest with yourself about them. And uh, you need to go ahead and be honest with yourself uh, about this person and remove them from your life because they are going to just uh, ruin it for you. Uh, at the beginning of the week, uh, you're going to be waiting on delay, uh, either in business or in love. Uh, the only thing that you can really do is plan and prepare. So yeah, that's, that's about it. Plan and prepare. It's either business or in love. It can be either one. So, uh, yeah, uh, whatever delays you're going through, just prepare for uh, whatever outcome, good, bad, ugly, whatever, you know, uh, but don't don't sit and ponder on the bad, uh, you know, part, you know, uh, try to think of the good as much as you can. In the middle of the week, true love is coming towards you. Uh, e either if you have a partner now, uh, you're going to have like a really true a love moment where uh, things are going to take a turn, a good turn, uh, or there's somebody approaching you, some part, new partner, and the cards say that it's 110% positive. Uh, this is a new true love and that you should go for it. It's all sunshine and fucking rainbows. Uh, but this can also be a family member, a friend. Uh, they could be coming back or they could be new in your life. And this person is true love, regardless if it's romantic love or friendship love or family love. Uh, it's all sunshine and fucking rainbows. At the end of the week, uh, you need to move on. You're holding on to something and you need to let go of it. Uh, you need to move on and move forward, regardless how painful it is. Uh, don't, don't hold on to this. Whatever it is, it's, it's not doing you any good in life. You know, so let it go and, and move on with your life and move forward because that's what you need at this time. So, um, yeah, you know, watch out for this liar, cheater, thief. Be honest with them when you figure out who it is and kick them to the curb. Uh, prepare to wait for uh, delay in love or business. I'm thinking love. I am. I'm really thinking love because here you got true love coming in, you know, in the middle of the week. So I really do believe this delay is going to be in love. And all you need to do is prepare. Uh, but uh, either way, uh, it looks like it's going to turn out just fine. And then, yeah, at the end of the week, you're holding on to something and you need to let it go, regardless how painful it is. Uh, sometimes we have to let go of things that we care about or things that we love uh, because of different situations. And it is painful. And it might be painful even down the line. But in the end, you do need to let it go and move on with your life because uh, it's only going to hurt you in the end. Let's uh, go ahead and see what the tarot cards have to say. Universe Speak. Spirit's Guide. What needs to be known? What lessons need to be learned? Uh, 
the wheel of fortune yeah you need to right now you need to adjust your vibe adjust your whole being possibly learn some new things in life but uh, what you want to do, what you don't want to do is you don't want to stand outside the wheel of time. You don't want to be in this clusterfuck of knowledge and stuff. You want to be able to uh, obtain the knowledge, obtain um, raising your vibration, you know. Uh, you don't want to get lost in it. Uh, so you want to stay in the center of, of the wheel. So you need to center yourself this week uh, really well and... Um, look at everything from the middle uh you know be able to see everything that's going around you really take in everything around you uh really work on raising that vibration really work on yourself and and knowledge of knowledge and everything um yeah so definitely definitely settle yourself and i mean and that's the thing if you're gonna find this liar cheater thief you're gonna have to stand in the middle of the wheel so that you can see this person and that you can actually see what they really are, who they really are. So that way you can be honest with yourself about that person. Uh, just like here, uh, the delay uh, in love or, or business, you want to stand in the middle of all that so you can see and plan and prepare uh, correctly, but not get lost. Like I said, don't get lost in the bad uh, possibilities instead just see them all stand in the middle don't get lost in them stand in the middle of the wheel and watch them understand that this might happen this might happen but regardless you will go on with life uh yeah so and then even here you want to stand in the middle you want to see whatever this is you're holding on to you want to see the damage it's causing you by holding on to it and that going through the pain is going to be less damaging than, to you than, than holding on to it. Um, so, yeah, there you go. I hope this resonated. If it did, hit that like button. And if you would, please comment, share, and subscribe. I hope to see you back here next week. And until then, stay safe, stay mindful, and stay healthy.